sadly, I never wanted to make a video like this because Wolong has been the one and only game that I've been playing non-stop for the past two months straight. Every single day since release, I've been doing like daily uploads of PvP content for this game because I've been absolutely in love with it. Team Ninja has done an amazing job with this game and especially with the frequent updates to better the game as a whole. Sadly though, it was kinda short lived. Just looking at these steam charts, the game peaked with 75,000 players and just a month later only had a peak of 5.8k. So in just a single month, they already lost 90% of their entire player base in just a blink of an eye. So then what exactly caused any of these? Like what are the factors that came into play? Even though I'm not a big content creator, I can see that I am the last big enough channel still trying to put out content on this game. Most other creators saw that dip in viewership and abandoned it and found their way to other games. So obviously the lack of creators to show it off, it really did affect it a lot. Along with a lot of like inconsistent random reasons, like I've gotten a ton of comments of people saying the game is too easy or the game is too hard. But I don't feel like either of those are actually a correct reason why, since I've gotten about the same amount of players saying those exact opposite reasons and then just saying why they quit playing was just those, I don't think that's entirely correct. Like anyone can still have fun with a game based off of if it's too easy or too hard. The game itself is a fundamental, can still be enjoyable. But regardless with those two options, I should say, which one is it? Because I wouldn't say this game was hard like Dark Souls 2 was, where you just constantly got beaten around until you lose all hope. And it's definitely not as easy as Elden Ring was, just making a specific bleed build and just one-shotting everyone, but people still love those two games. To me, the game feels decently balanced. I will say that once you actually learn the deflect timing, you do basically feel invincible, but you could say the same for all the Dark Souls games. Like you learn the patterns of perfect timing to roll and then you don't get hit and then you feel like a god too. Deflecting might just be a little bit easier with Wolong than dodging in Souls games because you can't just spam dodge rolling like you can with deflect spamming, so I can kind of understand that. But to me, that makes it just more satisfying. I want to feel like a savage deflecting encountering everything that's being thrown at me. Not feel like I'm basically completely overpowered just one-shotting bosses like you can in Souls games, but the majority of the players might enjoy being broken like that, so that could be another factor. The bosses I've fought in this game have been some of the most unique and fun boss fights I've ever had since Neo 2 bosses. But maybe it was just that players weren't interested with the story, maybe they just don't feel compelled to be interested in like Chinese history or Chinese lore, so that could be another reason too. I want to say that maybe it was the end game, a lot of players didn't want to grind graces and it seems like a lot of players didn't even know that PvP existed, which obviously is one of the main end game factors in Souls-like games. So I think that could definitely play a big part in it as well. All I know is that I absolutely adore this beautiful game, and I wish it got more recognition that it deserved, but I think with the lack of people wanting to branch out didn't help. Like Ouroboro did start going hard on this game, gave it huge recognition that very first month, that's why it was crazy, but for the most part, the Souls community just stuck with uploading Elden Ring probably because it was the safer choice, and I don't blame them. Let's just hope that the DLC of this game can come back harder than ever in June and bring back a large portion of the community. If they skimp on it even in the slightest, I don't think this game will even make it to the second or third DLCs they have planned. So then for me, you're probably wondering, what am I going to do now? What am I bringing all this up? And this isn't me saying that I'm quitting Wolong, I don't think I can continue doing daily uploads on the game is all. Like, maybe I'll still upload every, like, other day, maybe three days. I'll try and be as consistent as possible. But the PvP scene is, like, beyond scarce. I have to even use this old recording from over a month ago, because even trying to just find players on this Saturday morning, which, if you didn't know, was one of the most populated times ever, is basically impossible. The latest update made it so it takes like way longer to find players now, and whenever I do, it only shows up maybe a single player whose match is already full, so I can't even join it. 
or then I have to wait all over again and then it will just tell me that, you know, can't connect or something like that. So it's like an entire cycle of just like two, three, four, five minutes of not being able to find a single match just for the match to maybe not even be a good one to even clip. So once again, this isn't me quitting. I just can't keep doing the daily uploads with the state of the game currently on top of my IRL job just taking up most of my time during the day. It's just, it doesn't work out. The morning time was always meant for me to get my clips at, and then after work at night was whenever I would then do my recording, but it just takes too long to try and get clips anymore. Plus, I've already kind of covered all the important things to cover from the latest patch, so I'm not even sure what else I should show you guys that I haven't already posted on the channel. But you can all bet your asses the second a new patch drops or whenever that DLC drops, I'll be right back on here with daily uploads again going over as much as I can. I'm not fully going to give up on this game just yet, but I still plan on uploading things from maybe other games, so I just hope you all join me on some of the new games and we'll just have some fun together. I hate breaking my two month daily upload streak this early, but that's just kind of the position I've been put in as of right now. But anyways, I hope you can all forgive me for putting out this kind of like a downer video on a game we all love. But anyways, that's going to do it for me everyone. I'll see you in a couple days with my next video, and have a good one. Peace.